We had a viewer ask us a question about the Sherline lathe that we use in some of the other videos because we actually modified it to operate on the y-axis with a power feed, which of course Sherline does not provide for you unless you go to a CNC model. Well, perhaps don't want a CNC model. So we modified ours, which as you can see, the modification is always here. It's our y-axis motor system, which we've got on the end. Now this little motor happens to be by Dayton Electric Motors, and it's a, if I can read it, an L, oh, let's peek down here, see if I can read it while she's filming. It is a 2L011. Yeah, the uh, relative to mounting it, it's effectively upside down, so I've got to read upside down. Now, the little motor is mounted on a 1 inch aluminum bracket that we made. Honestly, if you're doing it, I'd probably do an eighth inch because this seems to be, it does the job, but it would be a little steadier if it was in fact on an eighth inch. In between, we've got an inch and three quarter piece of brass. And there was a piece of brass rod. It's been drilled for the motor shaft on one end and has right here a set screw holding it on that end because there's actually a flat on that motor shaft when you get it. So the set screw, which is right there, is against the shaft, the flat in the shaft here. On the opposite end, we're picking up on the Sherline drive, but you see what we've got mounted within the machine is the modification necessary for doing the threading. And while most of the threading mechanism isn't on here, the actual extension items that Sherline provides inside the base or in here. So we're using the threading attachment to actually drive it. So you would need the Sherline threading attachment. You'll need to make an adapter, as we said ours is an inch and three quarters, a bracket, and have this particular motor. Now just so you know, that motor runs at 60 RPM. That's what we're actually using. Now besides the motor system, we have to have a system to actually drive this. And the way we're driving it is this particular box we've mounted up here. We've used a couple of screws and mounted directly to the Sherline control system. But this particular box comes from, I believe in this case, DigiKey. It has two potentiometers, one for each direction. It has a center off switch that can go either way to the side. So we can drive the system either direction. And right now, of course, we do not have it hooked up. Now, because we are using the actual system that Sherline provides for threading, we're using the Sherline system to actually do threading, but only the portion within the machine, not the rest of the threading items for this, just the portion within the machine that allows you to engage or disengage. So if we want to engage our motor, we'll flip this little lever over. And you've got to make sure you rotate your y-axis till it flips all the way over. Now we're actually engaged. So if I flipped it, you can see we can drive our carriage now either way. Remember, it's center off. We've got right for right, left for left. In both directions, we have different potentiometers that we control that speed with. Now, inside the box, obviously, we've got an electronic circuit, which... We're going to give you a photograph of, I'm just going to hold you a paper right now, but we'll give you a serious photograph of this, showing you the exact electronics they're being used to drive this, so that you could then put your computer on still, print the thing out, and you can make the electronic circuit that actually drives the system. So it's really quite simple what's been done here. You're going to need a motor, a bracket, an adapter, the Sherline parts for doing threading, that go within the base of the machine. You're going to need yourself a box, as I said, came from DigiKey, as well as the electronic parts inside came from DigiKey. And you're going to have to obviously put it together and assemble it on your machine. But what it does is it turns your shear line, at least on the y-axis, into a super smooth running machine that will give you a fantastic finish right 
each time that you use the machine. Instead of having to have to do it by hand and your finish isn't quite as smooth, it'll be really smooth by using a power drive on it. Let's center off. Again, we go right, and you see the carriage moving right, or we move the carriage left. Mm -hmm.